Scandal has rocked one of the nation's best-known veterans' charities. The Wounded Warrior Project raises money every year to help veterans wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan and their families. But now the top two executives have been fired amid reports of lavish and wasteful spending habits. Erica Hill has more. We won't leave one warrior behind. It's one of America's largest and most well-known veterans' charities, raising $342 million last year. My tea is smiling again. Over seven years, Fred Kane, father of two veterans, proudly raised $325,000. The mission's too important to forget. Last month, he canceled his annual benefit amid reports of questionable spending at the charity. Late Thursday, the Wounded Warrior Project fired CEO Steve Nardizzi and COO Al Giordano following an independent investigation, which found, according to a statement, some policies, procedures, and controls are in need of strengthening. It's a culture that was created by these guys, and I think that that culture is systemic, and they're going to need to change a lot more. That culture came to light in a CBS News investigation, which claimed the Wounded Warrior Project spent lavishly on travel and overhead, allocating only a little more than half its donations to veterans programs. Connie Chapman worked there for two years and says she was fired in a restructuring. I flew to New York for less than 24 hours for a meeting with one of the chief executives. It was just a lot and lot of spending. The fired executives declined NBC News requests for comment. The charity says its own audit found more than 80% of donations were spent on programming. I think it's damaging uh, for all charities who are involved with veterans. People are just not going to give money. A harsh reality for the nation's more than 20 million veterans. Erica Hill, NBC News, New York.